All right, good morning. Well, you know, <clears throat> I decided a couple of things. You know, I, t I said I wasn't going to work on this till after I finished that. Well, I got two days of rain coming today and tomorrow, so I really can't set up my table saw, my chop saw, and all that. So I went ahead, I went and picked up uh, my ship lap, and that's what I'm going to put on today. So uh, I'm going to, uh, I can film a lot of that today. My cutting's going to be outside right here on the deck, and I'm just going to use my my little small uh, battery operated uh, uh, circular saw just to cut it's all straight cuts and uh, I got a, around my outlets I got my little jigsaw out there I could do all that right here under the deck and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do okay so I'm, I'm gonna put the ship lap up today I'm gonna let you watch me do it and I'll explain some things to you uh, about it and um, in case you want to do it in your home uh, there's ways you, this is the real ship lap or you can there's a way you can get by a little cheaper and uh, and do it uh, a little cheaper uh, by not really having a real ship lap but just making a little using uh, something for to make you a little space and all that but anyway uh, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here and um, so let me get get finished getting set up and uh, and uh, we'll get started on putting up the ship lap on this wall and this wall all the way to the refrigerator um, panel right there the, the panel okay all right all right guys all right so I'm gonna get started by um, I'm gonna put me some borders so I'm gonna put me a, a one by two on this end over here I'm, I'm gonna put this up and level it up and then uh, and I'm gonna put one in the corner. And, and the reason I'm really gonna do that, I mean, for the corner, I gotta put one on this end for sure. But the corner, because, all right, the, the, when I went to go buy the material, it was 16 foot lens. Okay, so I um, I knew that this was eight feet, and I knew I was gonna use this one by on here. Then I thought, well, I'll put a, a one by in the corner, and so that cuts it down to. Um, takes takes a couple of inches off so I told him instead of cutting them in half for me cut them at 94 because this back wall right here this top section uh, from that there to uh, over here is a hundred inches I wish I, I wish I would have had him cut a little bit more off but I didn't so uh, so I have to make make up two inches on this wall or I'm gonna have a little piece in here somewhere or make a seam somewhere in there and I don't really want to do that I'd like to have it all one one solid well I'm gonna have basically two pieces up there alright so I'm gonna so I made this corner right here with some one bys okay so this gives me two and a quarter so now because my, my boards I got I got these are 94 and those are 98 so now I'm just gonna have to cut I think about a quarter inch off, only a quarter inch off. So, unless I add me a one by on on this this side here, which it's possible possible, I might still do that. So this this is a corner that I made with two one bys, and I put uh, the one one by this this one one by that's going to be on the wall that I'm gonna start first that has uh, that's going to have this one. I have it facing the same way, and then I butt it the two by so I got my three quarters and an inch and a quarter so this will go in this corner back here and that'll go back there okay so I'm gonna get I'm gonna work, get all that in right now get it shot in and um, and then I'll get to uh, cutting out for my outlets. Now my first one, he hit my first one. Well here, let me get mine in and get it cut and I'll set it up then I'll show you, okay? But when you when you shoot something in the sheetrock, um, what you what you do is you go on an angle go on angles 
and that kind of holds it pretty good because the, the nails are going on an angle like this so to pull it straight out it's not going to want to come out you know what I mean so that's like a little trick for just shooting it into sheet rock Now my countertop is level, my countertop's level so it's giving me a good start here. Um, I was on, when I took the measurements on the ends I was only an eighth, eighth of an inch out so I'm okay with that. Eighth of an inch is fine with me. Um, it's got to be in the ceiling because on the countertop here it's like, it's perfect you know. Okay, alright so let me get a measurement on the length. Alright guys. All right, so when you buy the shiplap already notched out, it's already notched. Can you see that? Yeah. So you have a you have a notch here, and you have a notch on this side. Now one side's bigger than the other. Okay. So uh, you have to put a small to the large. If you put like two smalls together, two larges together, you're not going to have your little gap. It's going to close up tight. Okay. So so in order for me to get um, so. I'm going to set this down. I can either set it down with the bigger end down or the smaller end down. So let me, let me see how it's going to look up against these outlets here. And uh, and I have an outlet. I wanted to see how they cover. See, they cover over the joint really well. So uh, it's not going to matter. So this is good like this. And uh, let me. I gotta take. I gotta take those uh, out, outlets out. Let me get my my drill. Now I'm going to have to put longer screws in here. If I have, I have some, I hope I can find them. If not, I'll just have to go run up and buy a pack of them. They're not expensive, but I had, I had a whole uh, container with various sizes uh, for this kind of stuff because doing countertops and backsplashes and all, you're always uh, having to do what I'm doing right here. Like if you put granite on the wall, Tile on the wall. You always had to extend your screws. Get longer screws to extend your uh, outlets. Okay. All right. So let me get this bad boy in here now. Gotta have it opened enough for that, that screw. And the hole for the screw. Now this the uh, the outlet is uh, going past my opening. So even if I cut this out all the way down, you won't see because this is gonna cover cover over it. Alright, so let me go notch notch that out and we'll get ready.
All right, so, and before you start nailing these up, another thing you do is you like maybe get, get, your, get a level out and you draw you some lines where your, uh, where your studs are and level up and draw you some lines so you can stay on your, and uh, I'll, I'll go up further as I, uh, as I get on the ladder and go up. See, maybe I can back it up enough, maybe get the whole wall in there, huh? Yeah, you could see what's going on. Uh, all right. Looks real good. Looks real, real good, you guys. Good. Whoop, wrong way. I need a nail gun. All right, so let me, let me shoot these in. nothing to nail to on the end so I'm just going to kind of go on an angle and put one, put two on the angle and of course when you come back and caulk your edges it's everything's going to be fine with that. That looks pretty good you guys. I'm liking it, I'm liking it already. Okay now the next one is uh, I need to get my 90, what was it, 94 Seven eighths. Let me get that cut. All right, guys. Let's hope I got it right. Oh, I didn't cut my length. I got to cut a little bit off the length. Remember. I went and I found my box of screws too for the outlets, so that will all work. Looks nice, guys. Looks 
really good. Let's see if I can make sure I'm missing the, the holes. I'm doing good. This is really good. Okay. Good fit. That's two of them in, and I'm gonna get this last one here. Maybe uh, where's the wood pieces? Oh, I put them down here already. Maybe you can see how I'm gonna do that here. Okay, let me take out these screws. This one looks like it just might hit it too, but I think I'm going to put the wood behind it because it's Right there, that's beautiful. Tighten this one up. My cover on. Of course, I gotta take them off on the paint, but just so when the wife comes home, she sees it. All of this kind of stuff looks more complete, even though I gotta paint everything. Just has a more completed look. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so there's the first two pieces in, guys. And now from here, it's going to roll a little quicker. Of course, cutting out for the outlets took a little time. But now, I can rock and roll with this. So I'm going to just set the camera up over here and rock and roll with it. And you guys just watch along.
coming along good, huh, guys? Let's see. Let's get it from back here, maybe get a shot. Yeah, I wish the uh, the one buys were white right now because it would really it's given it's given a separation that I, I don't care, I don't like. But I mean, I, I get it, I know. So uh, I'm gonna probably because of the rain uh, after I get all this up today, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it and caulk it and get ready to paint it. Um, I don't see no reason why I can't paint it while it's raining. You know what I mean? I can paint. I can. And if you if I got time, I'll I'll put a coat of paint on all my cabinets because I'm changing all the cabinets to the same color as that wall. That wall is going to be linen white. So is the cabinets. That's the the color of my table. The bottom of my table. And I'm gonna do my my uh, my cabinets linen white and that window. And uh, man, if I got enough of this uh, board left over, if I got enough to do that little area in there with the wood, I will. But I really don't think I have enough. You know, it's okay. I mean, if I gotta go buy another sheet, I will. Um, to, if I, if I really want to do that, you know. I just might because that would eliminate um, all the wall color uh, there. And I could paint it, I could paint it, uh, you know, the linen white, but I'd like to put the, the board on it and give it that look, complete the kitchen with that. And uh, okay, all right, guys, let me get, let me get to finishing this up. We can admire it uh, after, right? <laughs> All right, guys, my, my battery went out on me <clears throat> earlier today. It's been on the charging, and I mean, I just like just re realized, man, I, let me let me set it up because I know I'm always using that as an excuse, but it's true. Um, so so far, you guys, this is what what I have done. <clears throat> okay, there we have it. We got that. That whole wall, that whole wall, down to the bottom, done. I got my toe kick on this cabinet, across the bottom there, looking looking sweet now. This is really looking good, and um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna put it up here, around this window, and that should take care of all the that color paint that wall the walls in the kitchen area you know now I do have this wall here um, but uh, because of the fact that I'm gonna have drawers uh, I just don't have I can't I can't put it on this wall so I'll, I'll paint that wall the color of the, the mold and I might even paint this I had the idea of doing you know all of this with that because the hallway separates it and I have wood on that wall but it's, it's not painted, it's, it's the, the pallet wall in the house right there. And then the, the rest of it would just stay this, it's called peanut butter. It's the color of it, it's called peanut butter, it comes from Home Depot. It's a bare paint, the name of it's peanut butter. And uh, we liked it on the car, once we put it on the wall we were kind of like, man we wish we wouldn't have done it. But it's, it's working out. And so I had picked a a color that was in the same family and that's what I started painting the cabinets but we're gonna go with the linen white uh, with it with the match all this and I think it's gonna really look good what's really gonna set this off is when I I do my three shelves and my shelves what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use two by I don't know eights or tens I don't know I gotta see, figure out how, what I want to do I gotta go look at my the um, what I'm gonna use to support the the uh, the shelves and uh, that's gonna determine the size I get but I'm actually got, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn it, clean it, but it's going to be burnt, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some clear on it, and that's what the how it's going to look. It's going to have a burnt look, which is going to kind of look like the, the trim around the door. It's going to kind of look like that. And now, and so I'm 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 not sure yet if I what to do with that trim if I ought to paint it because the door I'm going to paint white too, so it might look funny with that that wood going right through the white you know what I mean so I might be painting that trim white and then, uh, the only wood stuff we'll have is the countertop and then the three shelves I don't know but I'm I'm gonna save it for last I'm not gonna paint it paint over it right away I'm gonna wait and see how it looks and um, so anyway it's late it's eight o'clock at night um, 
took me it took me that long to do all that, but I didn't get started till like probably lunchtime. I was really uh, wore out from working every day, and I just was taking a break. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this section done uh, probably tomorrow morning. Um, I have a, a little meeting I got to go to in the morning when I get back. I'll I'll work on finishing that up with the. Uh, with the ship lap <clears throat> and then um, from that point um, I'm, I'm supposed to have rain all day tomorrow if I got time I'm gonna start uh, start painting but of course I got to fill in all the nail holes and I might do that tonight because that'll be kind of light I can fill in all the nail holes and, and caulk up all the ends of the edges up against the ceiling down everywhere that needs to be caulked and um, get it ready so uh, tomorrow um, uh, if I'm going to paint it, it'll be it'll be dry. All I got to do is take some 220 and uh, just kind of go over uh, go over all the uh, nail holes real lightly. And uh, what I started doing too, just in case you do this, you don't have to. You know, I, when I started off nailing, um, I was let's see. I don't know if you can really see it. A nail hole here and here and then and then I, I realized I don't need to put one here and then one here so this nails in and holds the top in so then I just started nailing it at the very at the bottom of each one so it gave me less nails okay um, and good thing I, I figured it out only three three boards up halfway through right here I figured that out so the rest of it's pretty much got uh, one nail in the board at the bottom and that bottom holds in because that lip is going over that lip and it's holding that in so there's no movement it's tight it looks good you guys I'm really glad that we decided to do this it's really going to set this off and uh, the wife is happy she's blessed so uh, I mean after that I'm going to have to start working I got to get that light out of here Add me my can lights in here and get rid of these two things and just put me one light over the table and um, and then I got this area which is for a dishwasher so um, I was talking to her about maybe making a small rollout island with a butcher block on it that she can use to another thing that she can pull out to uh, when she's cooking and preparing food and that would give her another space because our, our kitchen is so small this area here is for the dishes then we just have that little area of countertop and we have that little area of countertop so we don't have much so like when we start to cook as you can see it fills everything up she cooked tonight and uh, um, we had uh, mashed uh, cauliflower uh, like, like, like mashed potatoes the cauliflower uh, from the garden and uh, some chicken, now, not, not no chicken that we had She, because uh, we didn't have any uh, defrosting so she, uh, she went to the store and bought some chicken breast and she uh, grilled those on the stove in the cast iron pot with some olive oil and vinegar and stuff and it uh, really came out really, 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 really good. So either uh, we leave this like this and I can do what I said I can do here or if we get a dishwasher then that would eliminate this but this is way out of the way of the cook space you know so I don't know we, we we're stuck with what we have here so we, we just got to make it work and figure it out you know I know she wants that dishwasher really bad you know um, so We'll figure out what we're going to do with that. Okay. All right, guys. I just want to give you that update for tonight because uh, it's getting late and I'm fixing to, I'm sort of kind of picking up and cleaning up a little bit. I'm going to get cleaned up and if I got time, I'm going to spackle the holes and all. If not, that's just going to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, I am getting wore out and tired, but um, but yeah, it's coming out good, you guys. Uh, can't wait to get some paint on it too because it's really going to really set it off really good to paint, you know, and uh, all right, guys, so that, that concludes day nine of Operation Make Mama Happy, and uh, Mama's very happy, and Daddy's happy, too. <laughs> so.
All right. Uh, you guys be blessed. See you in the next video.